people's territory and we have kickoff captain Andrew Odiambo won the toss and opted for kickoff and he then have been granted first possession of the game people's have enjoyed home advantage here in a couple of fixtures but they are yet to test victory against heathens who have not only beaten them in all their meetings but they've beaten them here as well with some quite strong margins that have over time gone dwindling maybe today we'll see a turn in the results maybe today we'll see more of the dominance that the heathens continue to put up in Uganda rugby welcome again to Kawawa Sports here at the Dam Waters Rugby Grounds. My name is Ernest Akurebi Runji on commentary. It's a lonely day in the booth, but with your company, of course, watching on our YouTube channel and following all the updates on social media and on the internet. It won't be as lonely. There are some showers in Jinja early in the day. But the sun has cleared just in time for kickoff at 4 p.m. Heathens in yellow on your screens and hippos with some yellow but mainly white. This is the match that has been selected as the go-to match on the weekend that has had two days of rugby. Yesterday we saw the Cobbs take on the Eagles, a match they won cleanly at Legends Rugby Club. But today all eyes are on Ginger for this epic encounter. Pole Pilo now. Playing at number nine, he nearly transferred to Hippos. It did not been a late intervention by the Heathens to ensure that he stays at Chadondo. And what a decision they made. Was able to oversee the direction of a championship that they won in 2022. And they came second last year behind the Pirates. And in this new Nile Special Championship, probably he will lead them in that number nine position to a first ever Nile Special Rugby Championship. Malcolm Okello looking for points, but his attempt goes wide. First attempt off the tee for the youngster, not successful. First, a point, first attempt for points in this match, not successful. He will stay square. Nil-nil between the Hippos and the Heathens. Another youngster within the ranks, the two were teammates in the 2022 Under-20 Championship. Malcolm Okello and Yasin Waswa. And it's going to be an interesting kicking game for the two at number 15. Both teams have had a share of tough games, which they've managed to win, of course. Heathens beating 
the Pirates at Chadondo and Hippos beating the Cobs here at Dam Waters. This is a crucial game at the top of the Premiership, at the top of the Championship. Could change the tide and the flow of the competition. The pillow feeds with his captain Mike Okorach trying to drive the ball at the back of that scrum. He uses it, finds Lubanga, Lubanga into the midfield. Now the backs can get to flow with the ball in hand. Amolo. Gokto puts it to the boots, a kick and hit kick. And a pillow well gathered by Yasin Waso. The hippos. John Mubiru. Back door to another Bagalana. Silver Kenyi into contact, taken down cleanly by the heathens. To the short side. And it's been lost forward. Innocent Gokto again to the boot. He's winning the fortress. Does he win the battle for the try? Yes, he does. Innocent Gokto, first try for the heathens in the corner. End to end stuff from both teams, but the heathens stand tall and come out successful with points on the board. It's a try for Innocent Gokto. There's Innocent Gokto, try scorer. We've seen him time and time again show some individual brilliance that leaves defenders clawing for a piece of his jersey but unsuccessfully. Today's just a show of what he is capable of, Innocent Gokto. And now, Lubanga to make it a full complement of points for the heathens comes short. Yasin Waswa had a good kickoff. Let's see if he can replicate the same with those short kicks of his right boot. Julia Sopio, the go-to man for the chase, but this time it's not at the intended direction. Well gathered by the heathens. A pillow into the pocket for Okello. Okello sends it long and high. Under it is Brighton Bakasa, a heavy ball carrier. Beats the first man, unable to beat the second. Offloads that out. And now, Medi Bagalana loses it into the hidden. Santos centers are with possession now. Short angle and tight carry from Emmanuel Biamugisha. Turned over by the hippos. Eliphaz Monk will take credit for that. Sean Mubiru now. Hippos carrying strong and breaking through the middle. Their fans have found their voice. What can the Bucks do with the ball after it has been won by the forwards? Owen Mugogo, man of the match last weekend against Waluko Barbarians. Back to the forwards. Opio for Andrew Diambo. Long ball out. Still going strong is Bright Mukisa. Carrying towards the uprights, but it's been lost on the floor, and the referee awards a penalty to the hippos for offside against the heathens. Nasin Wasa will have another shot at goal. This time it's closer. In distance, but the angle is a bit tighter 
to the left of the uprights. Seen Waswa stays on his feet this time, but not able to convert. Okello clears it from his red zone. And under it yet again is Brighton Bakasa. Ball in one hand, hop step, ball in two hands to the boot. Goes high in the air. And it's well gathered by Manuel Manuel Biamogesha calls for the fifth, calls for the mark. And he kicks it, unfortunately. Biamogisha steps out of his 22 and boots it straight into touch, so it will return from the mark where he kicked from. We saw Mike Taje in the Rugby World Cup in France pulling off a very beautiful 50-22. Would have been lovely to see Emmanuel Biamogisha replicate the same. Aynard goes to the Goto man with lots of height. Julia Sopio, but it's been lost in the transfer to the back. And heathens have a scrum advantage. The pillow goes for the box kick. Finds Yasin Waswa. Yasin Waswa sends it up. And runs under it with Brighton Bakasa gathered cleanly by Malcolm Okello. What a catch! Cyrus Watum, long ball out wide. He plays seven, so he knows how to throw a couple of those ones. Amolo finds Gokto. Gokto finds him again on the inside. Michael Okorach now quickly recycled by Opalu Banga. Tony Okello skipping through some tackles, but brought down just. Past the 10 meter line. Advantage for the heathen, says Ronald Wutimba, the center referee. Hands now Lubanga for Scott Evergreen on watch. He throws his 300 kilogram deadlift Get back. Get back. onto Mendy Bagalana. A pillow. Long ball out. Heathens now beginning to flow freely in this game. Joseph Foyet. And a full stop Play. of a tackle Play. in that contest, but yet again, the Play. clean up at the breakdown is not clean. Play. And Hippos have contested Play. and won that ball. Moses Hattin sends it in the air again. Now, Patrick Okello, I've seen him play flank, I've seen him play in the forwards, but now he's as in the loose, in the Stay. blind side Play. wing Play. for Play. Heathens. Struggling for game time, Okello, but today he's able to start. At the wing now, Malcolm Okello trying to dance past the heathens. Your feet, your feet now. Let it go. Let it go. And he wins an advantage. Get back. The breakdown is a heavy contest between the two teams today. But if you can listen to the sound and the song of the hippos fans here, so making it a fortress, the Dam Waters Rugby Club. to the short side. Mike Okorach with a beautiful catch. And again. Heathens looking for that short side. They got a try. It can yield some more points if they sorry, continue sorry. to attack there. But Hippos have closed it this time. Again contesting on the floor. Charles Uhuru there. Can only really look on. Malcolm Okello. Long ball out. Skips. Vani Adeboa finds Joseph Oyed. Cuts back inside against the grain. Malcolm Okello for Lubanga. Lubanga has a pillow smashed by Julia Sopio, but lets the ball go. And now a pillow again past the gain line. Santos Senteza. Get back! Get back! To the defend. short side, yeah, finds Scott Oloch. Scott Oloch has a man on the outside. Get back! And Charles Uhuru loses Anybody it for it now. Number eight and number ten, you <laughs> Mugogo has to be stopped in his tracks as the heathens had the advantage. 
Apologies, I think yeah, that man with the ball was Tony Okello in the number five jersey. Offside. And there's those vibrant hippos fans. Home and away. They're always back there, team. They're always the 16th man. Time off. Time off. You start the mark. Yes, Charlie. What I'm saying, now, Abu. Eh. Give the value. You tell them, or you are against the natura. Eh. You tell them to be that side because the idea no more line eh, is interfering. No, they are forward passes, but they are not forward passes. So okay. Tell them, so tell them let's tell Mas Kamisa to take on the country. Okay, good. Says that referee Charlie Mongoma. Ah. Passing in a communication to center referee Ronald Wotimba was the 2022 Madame Uganda Rugby Union Awards referee of the year. And that's now he's going to have a chat with his match commissioner. So they are, coming, yeah, they, they are coming towards him and then they are making calls instead of telling them to go back. So if you can just help him, that's how it should be much better. Green. Yeah, they are coming towards Shelly and then they are distracting the server. Okay, okay. Shelly. Are you okay, Sean? That's okay? Okay. Time on! Mark White, yellow. Okay. Hold on. Guys, thank you. Get back ten. Good. If you're ready. Same all. Guys, get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Don't get there. Don't get there. Okay, release now. He went down when he had done that ball. There's grass to run into. Play. Play. Hey, Sera. People have managed to defend their line and cut that exit kick through Yasin Waswa. Secures the ball. And now Sean Mudiru with another strong carry. Nearly halfway through this first half. Yasin Waswa puts it in the air. Malcolm Okello comfortable under the high ball, but not a good pass to Innocent Gokto, which slips through his legs. On. It's Hippos in possession. Select, select. Andrew Diambo just gets it off his leg. Now again Adivante through the middle goes Paul Siringiti. Straight through the middle Adivante. has Siringiti made it. No on, let's have a goal and drop out. Just short, agonizingly for Siringiti. Loses that ball forward when all he had to do was ground it. And play. finds Siringiti. And Siringiti chased by Michael Okorach. Did Michael Okorach get a hand in? Oh, what a try saving tackle from Michael Okorach. Back underway now. Yasin Waswa dances past Malcolm Okello, offloads in the middle. And another break this time from Andrew Diambo. 
This time it's David Walker, the captain. Will he be stopped? Nobody able to stop the captain from scoring under the uprights. Hippos have struck back against Heathens. What a quick turn of events. By the line. There's Paul Bissasso just out of shot. He has played for both teams, Heathens and Hippos. And you could see him trying to maintain a neutral face. You're seeing Waswa now. To put Heathens in the lead for the first time in this game. Hippos rather, he does. Full seven points for Hippos at home. There's that off road from Odiambo. Finds Wako. And Wako also plays sevens, by the way. Bust through the prop. And then Paul Epilo could only be a passenger. On that ride to the first try of the Hippos. First water break of the game, 20 minutes played. Medical attention. Uh, one of the long serving players here at Dam Waters. In attendance today here at the Dam Waters Rugby Club is the Uganda Rugby Union President Godwin Kayangwe, flanked by his uh, secretary. And the host of other dignitaries, including Roger Sally from the $9.3 billion Uganda shilling sponsor Nile Special. The privileges manufacturer has been a proud and gallant supporter of Ugandan rugby. Time on! We now are back underway. We have a different area behind beyond which you cannot be. Chris Lubanga. Please, let's stay within a desert area. The hippos are that side. Because for the kickoff, lost in the air. Strong down. By the hippos of that chest. Yes. No con, no con, strong down. No, no. Let's have a strong. The rest of five. Seconds in. Let's get refreshed. Seconds in. Aya, who no one Crouch. And we will rebuild you at this. Bye! So all those other areas. Ball at the back of that Use scrum. it! 
taken care of by Hati Moses. Yes. Release! And now up in the air and behind for some I territory. Right out. Yellow Ooh, good kick from the hip was there. Keeping heathens out of their Lift territory. Lift her white. Lift her white. Lift her yellow. The rest are ten. Thank you, white. Ball stolen at the front of that line out by Julius Opio. Opio offloads to Paul Serengiti. And now Fahad Maido rather bumps off Emmanuel Biamugisha. And now the bucks flowing freely through the middle. Oh, and Mugugu. Thanks, a knock on. And he loses that forward. Let's have a scrum. Yeah, so. That's not okay. Eh, go move for them. Whatever you are, you move for them. Let's have a knocker. Let's have a scrum. It's a mind game. Max is here. And some provocation off the ball after the whistle. It doesn't matter. As the scrum has already been awarded. This is seen Waswa. Second thing. The leading point scorer for Hippos in the season so far. Very instrumental off the boat, especially for those penalties, and conversions. Even hippos, hippos have hit set the ground running. They are the third highest try scoring team. But Heavens, my God, nine tries in two games so far. Scott Oloch picking at the back of the scrum, still going strong, breaking through two men. Oloch Evergreen through the middle. Yasin Waswa makes a business decision and lets Scott Oloch through. What a carry, nearly 60 meters. Malcolm Okello for Gokto, the try scorer. And now Michael Amolo. Higgins in the corner. Michael Amolo, try time. The Bucks. I've enjoyed the finishing for this try, but my, oh my, what a carry from Scott Oloch. This is Michael Amolo. A journeyman in Ugandan rugby, but... I think he has finally found a home at Shadondo with the heathens. Good response from the log leaders to take the lead back. Seven points to ten, conversion to come. This time it's Malcolm Okello going to take it. It's high, but it's wide. The scene was what goes up in the air. Andrew Diambo on the chest, chances on the ball. And again, now he then win it back. Position turned over twice in barely seconds. Okello looking for that territory. Brighton Bakasa has been the go to man and he has passed with flying colors. He always carries across the pitch to the other wing. This time he's isolated.
Mark is here. But Joshua, the boy, yeah? Vani. What are you saying? What are you saying? The top prize scorer in what the Uganda saying? Cup did not make a no, clean release. No, it was him who made the tackle. Let it be the last time you're talking to me. Okay? Go back to him. No, it was him. He was a stand that I need to clearly release the player. Get back here. Yep. Ronald Utimba asserting his authority, saying he will only get a communication from the captain. Interesting that hippos have let the grass grow here at Damwater's Rugby Club and the same way so uh, having to do some gardening to clear the patch where he's going to be taking this kick from just past halfway plump straight in front of the uprights and he sent it 50 meters through he does successfully and we are back level 10 points apiece 10 minutes to have time Yasin was the man If you're ready. Palo Banga sends it long and deep. It's found by Medi Bangalana, who exits his territory cleanly, but only just inside his territory. So it's going to be a heathen's throw. They're slow to take it, the heathens. Yellow! Yellow! Move to your mark. Heathens urge to get back closer to the mark. It goes to Charles. Get back! It goes to Tony Yokelo at the back. And now Lubanga back door. Okelo, Okelo for Amolo. Get back, White. Right? Lubanga now recycling for a pillow. They've been swapping Leon! between 9 and 10. Santos centers out of heavy carry past one. the gain line. Slow to roll away. It's Sean Mubiru. Mike Okorach, the beautiful offload to Patrick Okello. Okello back to Okorach. Okorach against the grain over the whitewash. Try time here then. Yes, the full blast of the whistle goes. Mike Okorach. Enjoyed his career as a midfielder. But as he goes into the evenings of his playing days, he has evolved into a loose forward. Anyway, here. You can see how much effort it has taken for him to score that try, Michael Okorach. Hey, guys, move back. You need to move off that piece. Malcolm right. Okello looking for that extra two points. In the conversion, still short, even three tries, but none has been converted so far. They have a very low conversion rate for their tries in the statistics shared by Isa Metrics on Twitter. It's one of the lowest returns in the league. If you're ready. And yet Malcolm Akello is a very good kicker. Was the top point scorer in the 2022 Rugby Africa Cup. Rugby Africa under 20 batters trophy rather. But somehow this season is not able to convert. Scott Woloch under the high ball 
Another carry. Get back, White. But get some forward momentum for Heathens. Paul Epilo slow. Appeared to have fumbled it on the floor there. Release now. But Heathens maintain possession. Lubanga now to play half back duties. And another handling error. Roll away. That this time gives possession to the Heathens. Eliphaz Among, strong carry, but brought down by Malcolm Okello and he loses it forward. Heathens now have possession again. Joseph Oyet at the wing. Forced into touch, but does he offload in time to Watum? Let's have a line out. It's going to be a line out for the Hippos. Lift a yellow. Lift a white. Look at that. Pass Yellow. by Mike Okorach to Okello and he stays alive. Okello frees his hand and finds Wokorach again. And then that sidestep against Yasin Waswa. Try time for Heathens. Yasin Waswa is the second time he's been the last man on defense and he's not able to complete that tackle. The second time it's hurt Hippos and now Heathens lead by 15 points to 10. Owen Bugogo to the back door. Pangalana. For another Pangalana. This time, Medi. Pops up. On the side of the heavens, but chanced upon by the hippos. Messi breakdowns in this game. Andrew Diambo. Loose pass. And a hospital pass. Forward pass. To Fahad Maido, thumped it heavily by Charles Uhuru. Let's have a scrum. Let's have a scrum. Seconds in. Time off. It's time off to allow your foot player to less up his foot. Time off. That's got 15. Let's set back five. They are big. They are big. Seconds in. Let's go, clutch. Bye. Set. Guys, hold. Scrum to the heathens. The pillow combining with Mike Okorach in an 8 9 move. Back door to Malcolm Okello. Then his name said Patrick. Contest at the breakdown. A pillow having to settle. And calling the forwards to reinforce at that breakdown, and turned over by the hippos. No, what a contest from Medi Bagalana. Still going strong and on his feet. Release yellow. Your hands, let it go. Another carry that results in a turnover play to the hip heathens. It's picked up by Santo Senteza. Hmm. Double no con, but advantage was there. for the Let's have a scrum. Heathens was over, so it's going to be a scrum. I think that was caught for lodge. Okay. Not the best of passes to him. I love you. But then he had to over from the hippos, making a mess of the breakdown. One break. it was there. Striking through the middle. Maybe Bagalana. Let's five. Seconds in. Catch! Bang! Set! As you can see the scoreboard there, Heathens Guys, really leading scrum. by 15 points to 10. Baby, baby. They are not able to stay on top. 
of that scrum. They give away a penalty to the hippos. Last play. Why don't you use the line? Use the line. It's the last play last of play. the Yellow. first half. White. People with the line out. Can they close this? Half with yes. some points that can probably level the game or bring them closer. Ready. Julius Opio slaps it back for Moses Hatim. He gathers easily. Leon. And it's advantage to the heathens. They've won the turnover and can look to strike again at halftime. Scott Olo to the carry past the game line, brought down by Fahad Maido. It's a knock on. No con. And Game that knock on will be the end of the first half. Halftime. I didn't see that. Half time. I first go, first go. It's half time Yo, here go. at the Dam Waters Rugby Club. Yes, you'll talk to me later. Eventful 40 minutes. But in the end, Hiddens lead the Hippos by 15 points to 10.
it's sorry, my bad. Uh, so yes, of us. This is just the same thing. They are slowing down. So you are slowing down, down. down. So right. they, which means there's something you're not doing right, both of you. Either you're delaying to rack over your ball, or you're not racking your ball. Up. No, if you see if the tackle tap happens up and the ball is available here, this guy is allowed to come and contest. Okay. So the same applies. So make sure you rack your ball so that they don't disturb them. Yes. Anything? No. Good. Okay. Just talk to your teams. Eh? Let's say chat between. <laughs> among the Charlie. referee and the two respective captains, <laughs> Michael Wokoraj <laughs> and Andrew Diambo, <laughs> about the two teams' behavior at the breakdown. <laughs> it has been a hotly contested <laughs> region. Come here, up. And first set of this game so far. <laughs> oh, Timba Guys, you're ready? calling for a cleaner second half. <laughs> And with the full blast of his whistle, gives Chris Lubanga the go-ahead to get us back underway. Heathens leading the Hippos by 15 points to 10. Moses Hatim at number nine. There's a player on the floor, close to contact, and we shall have a stoppage for safety. Time off. Guys, get back. Yes, get back, get back. Guys, guys, get back, get back. Get back, get back. Uh, White he has to be holding his head. Not sure what the issue is. Just seconds after kickoff of the second half. Play will resume yeah. with a scrum to the team that Second was in thing. possession, the Hippos. For what? Ah, it's a full scrum. Full scrum. The player is back full scrum. <laughs> able to continue. Crouch! Bang! David Wako at the back of that scrum. <laughs> Is he going to go for the eighth man pick? Or will he was continue with what they've done? Say. Carrying the ball Say off the best. Looks like Wako will be doing an 8 9 with his halfback. Release yellow. Scott Oloch, quick off that loose forward position to arrest the number 10. Yes. As soon as he got the ball now, Malcolm Okello from just past halfway goes for the drop goal, but Play it's inaccurate. On. Fumbled by Yasin Waswa, who will return the favor from deep inside his 22. Paul Epilo stops it from going any distance further and exits. But it stays on the field. And now we have some kick tennis ongoing. Andrew Diambo outside his 22, miss kicks it. Goes straight into touch from the number seven's boot. And that's going to be advantage for him in that kick tennis it's been one of the hottest talking points in international rugby with uh, the international season especially in the north with the six nations super rugby have found a solution which was already in the laws of the game so from world rugby that when a ball is kicked the only way all the other players can be put back onside is if they the player who was behind the kicker or the player who kicked the ball puts them back on side. Cancelling out that variation that had the five meter carry or a pass that puts everyone else back on side. And we have just seen a bit of that in those four kicks that have been exchanged between the heathens and the hippos here at the Damotas Rugby Club. 
penalty to the hippos at the breakdown. The Sinwaso can kick from both feet. He's going to be looking for a touch of his right boot. He bounces on. on and is kept on the field by Joseph Oyet. No con, no con, scrum down. That's Yellow a ball. No con. Let's have a scrum. So he then have gained free possession and territory of that second by eight. With their fun fully in song. Led of course by ABC Wanuka. Always has some second in. loud songs and <laughs> vibe color that he offers not just to hit the rugby club but the Uganda national teams in all the competitions that they play. Scott Oloch in the number eight position. Leon. Charged by the hit by the hippos. Malcolm Okello maintains possession and it's been turned over number again by the hippos, but arrival at that breakdown as Utimba had stressed number at eight. the start of the second half. Supporting your weight. If it work or not supporting his own body weight, as you can see there. At that breakdown. Chris Lubanga will look for touch. His hiddens have been forced to concede some territory. Let's have a line out. Is the green of the dam waters rugby grounds. A stone throw away from the source of the Nile here in Ginger. Lift a white. Lots. To Lift see lots of experiences in this Lift part of yellow. the country. For not just the tourists, but also the, the adventure lovers. Move back ten. And one of them, of course, is the beautiful game of rugby. Goes to Scott Oloch in the air. Now Joseph Oyet. Lubanga. Long ball out. Mike Okorach. Another offload. Picked off the floor by Malcolm Okello to Patrick Okello. Release White. Get back White. Back to the open side. Through the middle. Emmanuel Biamugisha. Now a pillow. Roll away, right? Through the hands, Biamugisha. Roll away. He then's making some gains in territory. Now Santos Senteza at full throttle, but going slow. Lubanga, Malcolm Okello met with force. And he loses okay. that ball forward. Let's have a scrum down. What Let's a quick go. line press from Owen Mogogo. Getting a handshake from his Lucky teammates there. Substitution white. Substitution for white. the hippos. Gift. Time on! Let's have a scrum. Seconds in! This is round three. It's usually five meters. Five meters. Of the Nile Special Rugby Championship. In round four next Crunch. weekend, Hippos will be taking on Pirates at Bang. Kings Park and Heathens taking on Mongas in Entebbe. Set! Guys, hold!
Scott Waloch breaks off quickly and gives a free scrum advantage to the Hippos. And David Wako carrying strong. Advantage not taken. And Bandit from the scrum. Number seven. And Bandit Scott Waloch a little impatient in that loose forward position. The scene was for a fine touch. Just past halfway. Use the line. Use the line. Eh? Lift a yellow. Exactly on the 10 meter. Lift a white. Yellow. White. And legends, it is 20 for the Rhinos and 15 for the Rams. So, close game. That one, 8 point differential for the Pirates. Open Tano, yellow. Yellow. Open Tano. Good. Best of their performance last weekend against the Cubs. Little bit of motion. Boy, didn't look straight. Boy, not straight. Options, Captain. Scrum line. Let's have a scrum. The heavens from that line out. Back is here. Seconds in. Alright, I like the pillow feeds. A pillow peaks, finds Lubanga. Lubanga puts it to the boat. Okay. Advantage, high tackle. Advantage for the high tackle against the heathens, though. Yasin was looking for that box kick. Chasing, it bounces on. High tackle. Bounces off. And so the heathens advan the hippos advantage does not materialize. Hey, Taco. So they will have the penalty. Back is here. Lift a yellow. Lift a white. If you jump, land in. Eh? There's the hippos fans. This is actually a yellow. clash between two of the most vibrant. Time on the field. Time off. And his Substitution ends. white. On the internet, it's a different story. Substitution white. Okay, with the pirates. Making the most noise with Makere's in peace. Time on. Get back. Yellow. Move Tano. Good. Good. Paul Siringiti. To throw. Can he do better this time? Yes, he does. Finds Julius Opio at the top of the line out. Opio with some forward momentum. Now Odiambo. Elifaz the monk. Get back. Tony Okello not able to stop him. Needs a man to support. But the heathens have chanced upon a loose ball and he was not able to capitalize on that good possession. Malcolm Okello exits his red zone and finds good touch. Let's have a line out. It's going to be a line out Lift to the hippos exactly across Lift from where yellow. they had started the last phase of play. White, yellow, can you knock 10? <laughs> 10 minutes played in the second half, not a single point scored yet. It's been a slow start compared to what we had in the first half. 
Oh. High shot. Come. Referee reaches for his pocket and sends Time is off. Tony Okello Guys, get back. to the scene bin for that high tackle. Okay, first move. How is it? He then will play the next 10 minutes. A man down. So, I saw from Adam Kolakova. I saw from Julius Opio back on his feet. Simon. Swinging a player. Back is here. Tony Okello in the scene bin. There's three Okellos on this hidden squad. Malcolm Daniel, Patrick Okello, and the man in the bin. Seen also a fine start. Mr. White! Inside Yellow. the 22. Yellow. White. Guys, move back 10. Little bit of movement again. Well gathered by Opio, and he begins his march forward. Picked from the front of that. Breakdown, but held up strong by the heathens defense. Ball has been called. Ball is available. Ball is available for the hippos to use, fortunately. Ball is available. Andrew Diambo picks it and very strong finds his feet. Opa has to release the number 10, Chris Lubanga. Fahad Maidona with another carry past the game line. Siringiti. David Wako with Sean Mubiro on his side. Michael Okorach contests, but possession stays with the Hippos. They are about a few meters short. Ball is lost forward, unfortunately, and it's going to be a scrum to the Heathens. What defense? Let's have a scrum. In their red zone, the current championship leaders, Heathens, have fought strong and denied the Hippos a chance to score. There's that ball open and then lost on the floor by James Okello. The other change that's been made by the Hippos is by is in Fidel Aremo coming on for Moses Hutton. And as we talked about it last weekend with the number nines and the number tens making switches, this time Hippos have gone a step further, bringing Yasin Waso to the number nine role. Edmond Charisma has mentioned that it's one of his strategies he's going for. Let's have it again. Yasin Waso up at number nine. He's a very good playmaker and calling those shots at the front is one of the things he had looked at. Start! to lead Hippo's charge against the Heathens today. As it stands, they are close enough. They could pull off a first ever win against the Heathens. They could pull off a first win in eight meetings. Release, White! This is the turn of the decade. Clear back foot! The Monk making a mess at that breakdown. The hands go up from the Heathens, but they need to play on as the whistle has not gone. They are seeing Waswa on the counter-attack after that kick reset. It's Brighton Bakasa rather. The number 14 jersey. Release yellow! Brought down by Patrick Okello. The are seeing Waswa at number 9. 
Elifaz Among running across. Stopped in his tracks by Scott Waloch. Get back. Sin Waswa throws a loose pass but is able to regather and is held up by the front row of the heathens. Ball not called and stolen by the heathens forwards. What defense from heathens and now a pillow noticing that there's some space at the back puts it to the boat. Returned with interest. He was maintaining possession at the edge of the playing field. Your off it! Your off it! Get back. Slow ball at the breakdown. He has seen was so going for that box kick as well. But it lands just behind Scott Olodge. Not the best of men under the high ball. Now Michael Wokorach. Past the casualty zone. Wokorach still going strong and throwing men onto the floor. A pillow recycles quickly for Innocent Gokto. Gokto for Malcolm Okello. Malcolm Okello puts it to the boat. He's the last man on the edge. Brighton Bakasa wins that race. Releases, gets back on his feet. Contest at the breakdown by Patrick Okello. Let's have a scrum. But Bakasa appeared to have lost that ball on the floor. And I think Let's have a scrum. that's the call that's been made by... Is part of the scrum? Wutimba, let's take a look at that again. Bakasa gathers, brought down by Okello, loses that ball forward, yes. Even Fad? Yes, okay, it's okay. That's Fad, sorry. Medical break. Good, good call. As Elifaz Amon gets good, back good on ball. his feet, but there's another player that needs attending too. Is that here in Steam Talk? And a couple of leaders, Santos Sentes, are with the forwards, and now Michael Okorach getting a word from Lubanga. Fahad Maido is back on his feet, and play will resume. Time on, Mark is here. It's going to be a scrum to scrum. the heathens. Yellow ball, Mark is here. Second, Z. Get back. Second, Z. Mark Okrach, this time in the number Cut. eight position. He'll be looking for that pick towards the uprights. Bang! Attacking that channel. Set! Between the forwards and the loose forwards. And the backs. But the loose forwards. Getting Get back. quickly can stop Get him back. in his tracks. Get Wokorach back. with the ball at his feet. Okay, driving moving. forward. Number two. And pulling from the scrum. Advantage to the hidden Wokorach picks. Number two. Brought down by Yasin Waswa. Advantage to the hidden. Pani Adebua. Get back ten. Exchanging some police countries. Number two, Kassan, that is Mike Okorach in the pick. Caught by Yasin Waswa. Captain, what's your call? Defense scrum. And then some hellos between no, they're pushing. Two teams look, 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 this is what I saw. The scrum is moving, and then number two move up. Let's get back. Let's get back. Hey, guys, let's come. Let's go. Let's go. Second zin. Step five. Crouch. 
Collapse. A pillow forced to use it. Innocent Gokto cutting against the grain. Your it. Use your elbow on the ground. Let it go. Let it go. Your elbow wait on the ground. A pillow. Back Get to back. The short side. The offside. Serengeti has been caught offside. Mike Okorach with a quick restart over the whitewash. Try time, heathens. It has taken close to 20 minutes. For the first points in the second half to be scored, and they've come in the name of Michael Wokorach. Scored a try at the end of the first half. And look at his awareness. Sees the ball, goes to the referee, hey, takes his yellow, mark. Yellow. Every yellow. defender is offside. 15. Powers his way over and scores the try for the Heathens to extend their lead from 15 points to 10 to 20 points. Pending the conversion by Malcolm Okello. Okello unable to convert. It's unusual for heathens. They've not been able to convert a single of their tries. This game today, first miss by Lubanga, then the kicking duties changed to Okello, and he has missed three on the trot. But that Michael Okorach try brings Heathens into bonus point territory. Three tries more than the Hippos. If they can hold on, they will get maximum points from this trip in Jinja. But most importantly, heathens have been able to make maximum use. I'll bet the disadvantage of the hippos have managed to put points on the board with that power play. They are now back to a full complement of men. After Tony Okello comes back from the bin. Yasin Waswa goes to the short side. Finds Fahad Maido. Fahad Maido forced backwards and into touch. Mark is here. Holes. Shot for points has been called by Bruno Kisule. Yasin Waswa can bring Hippos to within. A try, converted try of the Hillens. Seen Waswa from the kicking tee. Flag stay down, so it's going to be a 22 meter drop. And running kicking duty, kicking tee duties is as is Bagalana. He has been named in the squad yesterday to start at number nine and as captain as well, but has not featured today. Substitution. Substitution. I didn't start my time. You guys were making substitution. Heathens are leading the hippos by the 10 point. points. I'm making substitution. Time wasn't on. And Yasin Waswa has left nine points on the on the field with his three missed. 
Time on. Penalty attempts. Make sure behind the kicker. Behind the kicker. Behind the kicker. Joking. Kisano comes on. To if the you're ready. Field for the remaining 20 minutes. 15 minutes actually on the clock. Kick has been charged. And it will stay as a hidden's line out. Just inside. Let's start the, the line out. Numbers. Lift the white. Lift the yellow. On the line. Step back. If you're ready. Stolen by Julius Opio in the air. Found by Eliphaz Mong, who offloads it to Maido. Not much of an offload. He Get knocked back. it backwards to Fahad Maido. And he have the advantage. advantage over. Bagalana kicks it. Advantage over. Advantage. And now the advantage changes hey. hands after that. Keep low. Sit belt tackle by Julius Opio on Patrick Okello. Take a look at it again. I tackle. Upright Opio in that tackle. No, 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 no. The other one was in the air. The this one was already down. The other one was in the air, remember? Let's have a penalty here. I tackle by the warning. Guys, tackle low. Tackle low. Now, who? Play. Time is on. Uh -uh. Play on. You can go with the Timber urges the Hidens to play on as it's only just a penalty. And Lobanga sends it into touch. Hidens with the line out. In Hippo's Lift territory yellow. now. Lift the white. Lift the yellow. Time off. Focus. Relax. <laughs> so, how is it? How is it? Eh? Egan, Ramude, Substitution. Lots of discussion ongoing between the heathens, forwards and the backs. Lubanga with a word to Atum. Diego Simon Olet with another word to Atum as well. Simon. Thank you. Hold it. Hold on. If you're ready. Owen Mugogo has been stretched off and play resumes ah, with yeah, the Hidden's line out. Gokto. Gokto for Wokorach. Another quick offload like a hot potato. This time doesn't find the man, but well gathered by Oyet. Albright Sempa off the bench. And Faizo Gama as well. It's been turned over by the Hippos though. Roll away. They have to attack from 50 meters. And advantage over. They choose to put it to the boat through Ayman Bagalana, and the advantage is over. Malcolm Okello to the rescue, leaves it to bounce into touch. And it's going to be decision making for Heathens as easy as they could have it. They go for the scrum at the mark where the ball was kicked from. Also on the pitch, I notice is 
Isaac Rutumba with Service, a palm of his hair on the head. The referee has taken some time off to less up his boots. It's been a slow game today between the heathens and the hippos. Let's come. Back is here. The rest of five. Zoga match a bit in the scrum, coming off the bench for Paul Epilo. Find, finds Lubanga. Lubanga keeps it short and tight. And now Odoch Morgan. Penalty goes against the Heathens, though. Stop pressing your face. No, no, no. He needs to put his way. For illegal arrival at that breakdown, it's been one of Wutiba's points of emphasis. He had the word with the captains at the start of the second half, and he has been enforcing that facet of the game strictly against both teams, Heathens and Hippos. The former are the latest cul culprits for arriving off their Lift feet at the rack. Lift the white. Yellow. White. Hey, Mark Chen. Yellow. Yellow. Move channel. He then is closing the gap. Good. In that line out. Who are looking to contest at the front? Not successful. It's in the hands of the hippos. Short ball in the midfield and now quickly recycled to the outside box. Isaac Rujumba is a loose forward but enjoys running in those open spaces. Siringiti. Run away! Slow ball, Yasin Waswa finally gets his hands on it. Maido. Caught behind the gain line by the Heathens defense and back to the short side now finally over the gain line. What a carry continuing to the short side. Bakasa loses it forward. Advantage is with the Heathens. Referee says it's over. Now on the counter attack. Long ball. Odiambo. Odiambo. Bakasa this time rather on the open side. Fidel Aremo will win the fortress. The whitewash. Malcolm Okello not able to stop him and the Hippos fans are on their feet celebrating that counter-attack try. Yellow behind the line. They had lost the Yellow. ball forward on the other edge of the playing field. A quick transfer through the hands finds Bakasa who deploys a Remo into open space and it was Root Mota on Ginger Road for the Hippos. Gonna try on the board. The clock slowly ticks the evenings of this game. The scene was looking for that kick that brings. He was to within a penalty of the heathens. But he's not successful. His kick goes wide and way off the mark. Look at that committing carry from Bakasa. And at that point, Aremo had only one man in front of him. Jack and Kisano not able to match the pace. Aremo gets a dominant carry on Malcolm Okello and scores the try. The tribulations for the I'm Hippos like fans. 
Seven. Begun in earnest. There's Jordan Bongomi. Seven. Seven. You ready? ready? Who? Booster. have used six of their eight substitutions so far. Relax. Woko, Ani. Booster. Hey, Mujay. They are coming down. If you're ready. Five points separating the two teams. It was within bonus point territory of the Heathens. Heathens have that bonus point for the win. It's all to play for in this in these last minutes of the game. Peoples with possession deep inside their own territory now. Building from the back after that electric try by Fidela Remo. The scene was what goes in the air. It's fumbled by Malcolm Okello. And now Aremo the try scorer again. The scene was what? Finds short Fahad Maido, but Fahad Maido is not able to get that ball within his grasp and loses it forward at the halfway line. Test that up and under. Remo on that chest, eyes on the ball. Malcolm Okello not able to gather. It's caught by Aremo. Cuts across Cyrus Watum, brought down by Jordan Bongomi. But he was not able to capitalize on that possession. Heathens now have a scrum at halfway. Seconds in. Crouch. Bang. Set. The hidden scrum appeared to have gotten to its knees. Michael Okorach breaks through the middle in the midfield position, still going strong. Okorach gains nearly 40 meters for the Heathens into the Hippos red zone. Get back. Diego Olet now, officially known as Simon, however. Come up back to the short side. Michael Okorach still on the floor. Heathens lose possession, however. Gamma, Gamma, when you go, relax, relax. When you go for that ball, play it. And yet again, Michael Okora, and yet again, Wuhan had to team, but rather enforcing the regulations at that breakdown. Let's go, let's go. Play. Ensuring that all the players attacking and defending arrive at the breakdown legally and on their feet. The scene was what will find touch for the hippos. At around halfway. If you're yellow, still in their hands. From if you're white, kick. on the line. Back on our clock here, it's under five minutes left to play. We'll keep an ear out if for how ready. much is left on the referee's clock. Up in the air. Line up well won by the Hippos. And a short ball in the middle there. What a carry and what a move from the Hippos off that set piece. Eliphaz Among with the fend onto the short side. Quickly recycled. I think there was a player off his feet at that breakdown. No con. But the call has been made for the no con. It's going to be a scrum. Yeah. Let's have a scrum. To the heathens. But my, oh my, what a carry. Short no ball one. into space. Off the shoulder. <laughs> Leaving players that in his wake. I have three. It's Ibrahim Katibu. Yes. 
People have not been able to capitalize on such breaks, on such turnover plays. They have the ball, they make the break, it's open play. But somehow, the ball is far, but it could be at the breakdown, it could be that pass into a man running onto the ball. That's how Heathens have been able to stay ahead and stop that forward momentum by the Hippos. Is it okay? Timba walking over to the uncle. He was bench to check on Medi Bagalana, one of the Just two three Bagalana to brothers three in to the match. Sheet. In the match today, Ayman and Medi, but they have a family with rich sporting heritage. The most popular, of course, Tafik Bagalana is playing his trade in the fifth division of the English rugby structure. Time on. My mark is here. Three minutes. There's a knock on by White. Let's have a scrum. Yellow ball. Play. Second in. Now set to resume with a hidden scrum. Crouch! At the back of it, in one of the changes that has been made is Bay Vani Adeboa, who played most of the Uganda Cup as the number Set. eight. He has pushed 80 minutes, the youngster. Gama finds Gokto. Gokto cuts through the middle. We've seen him do it so many times against very many different opponents, and he does it again against Hippos today. Gama. Albright Semper from the Warriors. Now Joachim Kisano brought down by Isaac Rujumba. A contest that the breakdown forces Gama to play the ball. And a penalty goes against the hidden. For holding on, says the referee. Gama guilty. Now Elifaz Emong on the quick restart. Bumps off Styrus Watum. Throws Semper to the floor now. Can Hippos capitalize this time on that play? Strong carry past the gain line. Yasin Wasa recycles. Brighton Bakasa now. He has wheels for days. Forced him to touch. Throws it back to the captain, Andrew Odiambo. Odiambo has his knees on the floor, so the Heathens defense has released him. Yasin Wasa was slow ball. Julius Opio. Tips it on forward. For a forward carry, rather. Waswa scans his options, goes to the open side. Fahad Maido offloading to Fidel Aremo, the man that scored the only try in this second half for the Hippos. Now back door to Bruno Kisule. Kisule for Andrew Diambo. Now back after the offload, and the try is on for the Hippos. The 11 matters today, Brighton Bakasa. But it appears that the referee will have a say in whether that ball went backwards in the offload. Wutimba puts his hand up and gets the full blast of the whistle. It's try time for the Hippos. They level matters late, late, late in this game. There's that backdoor pass to Kisule. Kisule has two men on the outside. Finds Odiambo. Odiambo tackled by Joachim Kisano and Jordan Bongomin. But he manages to offload to Bakasa. And Bakasa scores in the corner. Hippos level matters. 20 points apiece. Conversion by Yasin Wasa to come. Hey, Doc.
The scene also has been able to convert one of the two Hippos tries. Can he convert the important one to put hidden to put Hippos back in the lead? It is wide. Let's have a kick. And the kick, taken the kick will be taken again as the attempted charge down was before Yasin Waswa made any movement. So Yasin Waswa will have another chance to stick the dagger into the hidden's chest. You can't charge now! Seen Waswa from the touchline to the right of the seven meter poles. Can he slot it through? He's been able to make a correction, but not successfully. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the final whistle. Ronald Wutimba has checked his clock and realized that the 80 minutes have been done and for the second time this Thank you, Charlie. In Heathens, in Hippos, most recent five games there's a draw. Thank you. For the first time this season there's going to be a draw. Heathens and Hippos have shared points here at Dam Waters. Twenty points to the hippos, twenty points to the heathens. The two teams taking three points home for the draw. Two points home for the draw. And there's confirmation of a full-time score. Hippos 20, Heathens 20, what a match. And there's the well-deserved smiles and handshakes from the Hippos fans to their coach, Edmond Charisma. Thanks for joining us here on Kawawa Sports. Thanks for following Uganda Rugby, thanks for supporting the Nile Special Rugby Championship. We'll take a break and go into the post-match interviews with the two respective coaches.
shout out, shout out to you. All right, well said, Andrew, and thank you for your time. Okay. This was uh, uh, one of our toughest contests uh, so far in the championship and uh, clearly as uh, we can see uh, Hippos brought it on for us. We we assumed, I, I, for, me, I, for me I believe we, we assumed we, we had it but they showed much more determin, determination, came back and fought for the game to the point where they got 20, 20 points. Four tries scored today, but none of them was converted. And uh, the statistics shared in the build-up to this game showed that you have the lowest return of the kicking tee uh, in that I, department. Because uh, of I concern for you going into the championship? Anyway. Uh, the definitely, uh, this is uh, something we are going to address as uh, coaching staff. As clearly, uh, it was evident we left, we left close to 15 points on this pitch. Had we had those 15 points, the scores would have been very different. So that is uh, an area we're going to uh, take so much, uh, pay so much attention to, and I believe going forward we'll improve in that department. One positive you can take home back to Kampala. Uh, could say as I as I stated earlier on, our past toughest game of the season. We thought we were there, we were there, no, but clearly we are not yet there. And uh, as, as coaches, it's an eye opener to us. We know where to work, areas to improve on, and uh, areas we need to improve on the players as well. And that is more or less our task going, going forward. All right, thank you very much, coach, for your time. A bit of an uncomfortable situation to work with, but uh, we're glad that you could spare time to with us. Okay, uh, my pleasure, always. Uh, generous comments uh, from uh, two MVPs. Uh, fans. Let's uh, do this real quick. Yes. Which hand is that? And now, uh, home team, right, well done to Andrew, coach and, uh, Edmond Charisma, yeah. a huge and result for place. the Hippos today okay, against so the Heathens. For the first the time party, in the history of this club, you've picked Ruby points Ruby against the Heathens. How much of a result does this mean to this now, club? Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. It has been a great result. Club. Much had fought for. Uh, it really feels... It feels good right, to be here. It feels nice to have such a draw. It's a big game. You know what events could bring. They brought France their A game the other side and uh, when we were playing the semi-finals. Yeah. And from then we had a lot to learn. We had a lot to pick up from. Then we went back. So what we had to do, came back here and executed. What are some of those things that you saw that you had to do and you were able to do today? Uh, we had to work on our hypos. We had to work on our scrums. We had to work on our... We had, to, we had to work on all our set pieces to say, because they matched us up there in strength, so we had to look for our own strength, which we found in the, in the set pieces, and we executed them well today. I think we had eight out of nine throws, which is a good thing to do. Yeah. Still undefeated in the championship, it is only one round for each of these encounters up until the playoffs. How far do you think Hippos will go this season? I mean, this is good momentum. It's good momentum. It keeps us moving. When we see the results, it gives us good energy. So, on to the next one. This one is done. We hope to win the next one. We want to go through unbeaten. It gives us a lot of... Uh, it gives us good balance. We play... Uh, uh, I want to say weak, because it be... I'll be like I'm taking away credit from them. But it gives a much relatively cool run. So, it's, it's our plan. We want to go unbeaten. We want to execute. We want to go for each and every team we can and we will win. Thank you very much, Coach, for sparing time to speak with us. Go and enjoy the precious points against the series leaders. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you Bye. So much,